My name is Benjamin Völker. I'm a senior expert in optical simulations and I'm part of the optical design team at SAIS. The Supreme Prime Radiance lenses are modified Supreme Prime lenses from the same family, of course, but um, they offer additional controlled ghost and flare characteristics. When we designed the Supreme Prime lenses, our goal was to have the ghosting as minimal as possible. So that was a defined target. Now the key challenge in Supreme Prime Radiance was to lift that ghosting to a certain level and to have that balanced within a lens and not only within one lens, but throughout the whole family. Well, actually, in the beginning, we didn't know um, in which direction to go. We had some feedbacks from DOPs that vintage lenses are um, pretty asked in the market. So um, we did some research ourselves. And since we didn't have those vintage lenses available in Oberkorn, we went on a trip to Kessel in uh, Los Angeles and had a detailed look there at those vintage lenses. After our field study at Kessler, we had a feeling of the desired look we wanted to create with the Supreme Prime Radiance lenses. After that, we started with the optical design of the Supreme Prime lenses and did computer simulations for every single surface in that system, giving us the impact of those surfaces on the overall ghosting. Then we were able to carefully select the best surfaces in the system that gave us the desired look, and we applied the T-star coding on them and ended up with the Supreme Prime Radiance. So in order to achieve the look we intended to have, um, we decided to go with modifying coatings. And we did that by massive computer simulations. So we tried to identify which surface, um, which surfaces in the system trigger desirable ghosts and we then modified those surfaces in computer simulation and um, simulated a, a huge variety of, of versions and then picked in simulation those versions and built them as a prototype. So basically what you can do nowadays is you can get a really good prediction of the ghosting of a lens by computer simulation. And what you do in detail, you trace individual rays through the system, let them reflect on numerous um, optical surfaces, and just get a prediction where those rays um, end on the sensor. And you then get a prediction on how that ghosting pattern will look in the final image. When we designed the Supreme Prime lenses, our goal was to have the ghosting as minimal as possible. So that was a defined target. Now the key challenge in Supreme Prime Radiance was to lift that ghosting to a certain level and to have that balanced within a lens and not only within one lens, but throughout the whole family. T-Star Blue Coding is a specially balanced coding that gives you the opportunity to introduce some controlled blue flare while not completely destroying the contrast of the image. In a lens, not all optical surfaces contribute to ghosting in the same way. Some of the surfaces give you a very defocused um, ghosting on the sensor plane. And those are the ghosts you want to avoid. They lower your global contrast in the image. Other lenses give you a very, uh, give you ghosting of a distinct pattern. And those are the ghosts you want. So we identified those surfaces in simulation, applied our newly developed T-star blue coding on those surfaces, and that gave us the desired look. Identifying the surfaces um, happened in computer simulation. So we traced rays through the system um, on defined paths. Um, we gave them the opportunity to get reflected on several surfaces. And we did that for, for all the surfaces. 
In a typical lens of 20 elements, this can be a couple of hundred different paths throughout the lens. And we went through all those paths, added them up, sorted them, and in the end finally figured out which of the surfaces are of interest and which are not. Before optical simulation was available, you only saw what the ghosting of a lens looked like when you built the first prototype. Now with optical simulation, this, it, it is possible to predict that long before you build the first prototype and that saves a lot of time and money.